Good morning, Cowan Heights. Beautiful day out there. So beautiful that I'm considering a motorcycle ride. Actually, there's no considering. I'm going for a motorcycle ride today. Not sure where I'm going yet, but I'll figure that out. In the meantime, I swapped my wife's tires around yesterday, but today I gotta swap those tires around. And my goal is to do the tires this morning before the sun creeps out over the roof of the house and it gets too hot in my driveway. Yeah, I don't like the heat. So I'm gonna take advantage of the cooler morning. Never thought I'd be saying that a couple days ago, I was freezing to death. Now my challenge is going to be remembering my 11.30 o'clock doctor's appointment this morning. So hopefully I don't get too caught up in doing those tires that I forget about my appointment. Who knows, maybe I'll have it done before the appointment, we'll see. But right now I'm going to Enjoy my coffee and uh, probably see if there's any itchy boots on YouTube. Let's see if itchy boots has it. No. Our last video was a couple days ago and I already seen that one. What else? And no, I'm not just here wasting my time because I have a load of laundry going and I'm waiting for that to be done so I can hang it on the clothesline. So, don't judge me. All done. Move those to the shed later. Get ready for my appointment, then I'll enjoy you. Final step, almost forgot. See that? It's noon. 
My doctor's appointment's 11.30. I'm definitely glad I pushed through and did those tires now, especially with her being late. So I'm gonna have this little snack. And of course, another coffee. Hey, my doctor's calling. I'm lazy now. I don't know why. Just like that, I lost all my motivation to go for a motorcycle ride. Not sure what I'm going to do now. Well, I put on a pair of thermals and uh, I'm good to go now. So I gotta go. Just can't not go today. All right, I'm all ready to go. Kick stand up, heated grips are on, <clears throat> heated seat is on. here we go but where are we going <laughs> it's windy and it's cold so it's not going to be a long ride today I don't think I'm thinking about heading out around just out around Portugal Cove maybe even in a, up around Balleen those are both very scenic places, especially Balleen. So, Balleen it is. Look at the airplane up there. I was hoping they were going straight. Cause they're slow drivers. I'm surprised that one actually went. I 
know one thing, these crosswinds are pretty strong. That's because I got a big melon, but I keep throwing my helmet on the other side of the highway. <laughs> I think this is the way to Balleen. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> See the dog in the dog park? I think he's chasing me. <laughs> he's having a blast, isn't he? Just here on the left is a nice little beach to come in the summer months and enjoy yourself. Well, you can go in the winter months too if you want, but it might not be as uh, comfortable. Anyway, this is Baleen that we're approaching now. Still got a couple of minutes before we get to the ocean. I call this the new part of Balleen because I'm pretty sure the first part to be settled was down by the water. beautiful the ocean with Bell Island off in the background definitely gonna be careful coming down here because there's a lot of loose gravel and a switcher to rain mode <laughs> that way there's less uh, torque when I crank on her and I'm waiting to happen. As long as I don't have to stop quickly, I'm good. The old church, there used to be a war memorial there. They moved it up to their community center. Pikehurst Park there. Quiet place, scenic place. There's a hiking trail that takes you up the top of there. I don't know if you can see it. I got my head tilted as best I can. <laughs> it's part of the East Coast Trail, but there's a little lookout up there. I haven't been out there yet. I did have my drone up there though. A ride down to the boat, to the wharf, of course. It's their boat launch, their slipway. No diving. Nope, not today. I won't be. peak over here. Hey. The little wharf and the rocks certainly help block in this uh, little uh, slipway, doesn't it? I mean, look how calm it is there compared to uh, out that way. So this is Balleen, boys. <laughs> I'm going to show you where I go for my coffee. It's up that way. A 
I've seen a quad go there, so I should be able to go there, right? <laughs> Not too many Harley riders will go on the uh, on the gravel roads. <laughs> Just bugging you guys. Watch, I'll probably have with a flat and eat my words now. Actually, this little road is not usually too bad anyway. There's also a parking spot up there for the uh, East Coast Trail. Because it continues in this direction. You can go all the way to Topsail Beach, I believe, is where it begins. If I was in better shape, I'd do some hikes. But I'll do my sightseeing from this position for now. <laughs> Nice thing about having reverse is you can go to these little tiny, uh, looks like there might be some bottles out here this time though. A little bit of glass there. going to stay long. My bike don't tip over from the wind. <laughs> it's too bad people got to leave their mess around. Eh? Anyway, I usually park my bike there, bring my camping chair, and I'd come out this way, and I'd set up anywhere around this spot here. And of course I'd wander all the way down around those uh, cliffs. Have to. Well, they moved the bench. May every sunset bring you peace. I sat on that a few times. Definitely no drone today. Anyway, back to my bike. All I can say is thank God for a reverse. <laughs> actually funny story I was backing out of there a couple years ago and I was going in reverse and if you can see there's some dips in the pathway there and when my bike went over it that hole was next to where my foot was so my foot had to go down an extra couple inches and I missed my footing and dropped my bike no damage, we're good. One plus side, if it's my front tire that gets flat, I'm all right, because I got a new one coming on Wednesday. love to live in that little yellow house there. Actually, I'd love to live in that little yellow shed. Yeah, if you're ever in around St. John's, you got some time to kill, grab your camera, come out to Balling. Look at all 
of grit, lots of sand. Western Point, or Wester Point, it's different. Definitely. Now where? <laughs> Probably just home. There's another look at that pond. A friend of mine has a house right on that lake. He has a boat. Lucky bastard. <laughs> sometime and have a look get a closer look and this right here is where my son is going to be starting his on the job training in another couple weeks at Cahill construction I think that's how you pronounce it some people say call some people call Hill. I don't know I call it Cahill <laughs> but uh, he's doing a welding program in college and he's uh, finishing up and he's got his two weeks of on the job training that he's going to do there Stretch always uh, leaves me uh, last minute trying to figure out how it's the best way to move in there. I'm going to go in here. There we go. Sometimes I get caught close to the intersection and I'm stuck going straight down toward Bay Road, even though I want to turn right. So I don't like getting in this lane too soon. It's like zipper merging. Traffic is backed all the way up to Stavanger. And it's too soon to hop in the line. Traffic is busy. It's not even rush hour yet. back over or if they're going to speed. being over in the right lane in this area. <laughs> One thing 
thing about doing these turns is you try to keep your eyes focused in one spot so that way you don't wobble. And I'm one of those people, as soon as I look left, that's it, I'm gone like this. <laughs> Trust people who don't use signal lights. <laughs> it's probably going to Breer Avenue, but a lot of times people will just jump out in front of you. Why do so many Newfoundlanders hate traffic circles? I wonder. Nice rims on that vehicle. <laughs> uh, the wife's back. She was out for brunch with some of her co workers. Joys of being a nurse, lots of uh, social events and activities. Meantime, I'm uh, riding my motorcycle. to clean those windows, the windshield. <laughs> I need to clean this bike. It's brutal. Well, I made it. That's good. <laughs> it always gets stuck. Couple of layers today. One more. Until next time. Well, I enjoyed that ride. It was nice. It was refreshing. Got me out of the house. It wasn't too far. It was ideal for today, especially with the cold, because it was six degrees, but it was a cold six degrees. Anyway, now it's time for my normal routine, my post ride routine. Well, I'm gonna sit here, finish this, then take in that uh, laundry and go remove these thermal underwear because uh, I'm probably not gonna need it added up sitting here. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this ride. I hope you enjoyed the views and the sights and uh, I'll see you next time.